Hello everyone, Creative Venus here and look at this beautiful fluidic animation that we will learn today. But before that, let's watch this. PDF element from Wondershare is an amazing tool to create, edit, convert and sign PDF documents on Windows and Mac. You can easily add, delete, cut, copy, paste and edit text, images and other objects in PDF. Just click on the edit PDF, select the PDF you want to edit and now you can use these tools to edit the PDF. Also. PDF Element Black Friday Big Sale is on from November 25th to November 29th. For more information about the PDF Element and Black Friday Sale, refer to the links in the description. So coming back to the tutorial, the very first step is to insert this parallelogram. Currently the sides are at certain angle so we have to make sure these are straight with the slide. And for that you can insert this rectangle to match the sides to ensure that it is you know straight and you can slightly rotate it and now you can see it's straight So now you can place it. This is the base shape that you are using. Now we will just, you know, duplicate it multiple times to create this beautiful abstract design that you viewed in the beginning of this video. So that's the beauty of this design. We are just using one shape to design this complete, you know, illustration. But we will use different forms and sizes of this shape and of course we will play with the colors as well. For now I am just filling random colors so that we can identify the shapes. And we have applied pattern to this shape here. So these are all just you know random design inputs. You don't have to follow exactly what I'm doing here. You can place them at random positions. But make sure that 20% have some pattern design and rest of the shapes have, you know, gradient design. So we will fill the gradient colors in these shapes. Currently, I'm just focusing on the placement. Once placed, then we will fill the gradient colors. I'm just balancing out that this whole shape is filled from left to right in a balanced way. It shouldn't look like that the right side is heavy and there are more shapes toward the right. So make sure it looks complete from left to right and top to bottom. And the main shape is the parallelogram at the center. So we are using two background shapes with the pattern design two different patterns and rest are the shapes with gradient colors. Let's duplicate one more and place it here. And you can see it's a very easy design. What we have done till now is that we have inserted one parallelogram then we have created these multiple shapes duplicated it you know how much time? How many times? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 times we have duplicated it. And on the 2 shapes we have filled pattern. And on the 6 shapes we will fill this gradient color. And you know how to fill the gradient colors. And I have, you know explained it in my all of my previous videos because most of the powerpoint presentations that i design i use the gradient colors because they look more you know realistic than solid colors those are more vibrant appeal to the eyes and it makes your you know slide you know stand apart that kind of feel it gives so 
it's better to use gradient colors of course there are you know few queries that i received that in the corporate presentations how can i use the gradient colors you can use some light gradients as well gradient is something which gives it you know a real kind of look solids are like 2d those are plain those are basic those also look good it depends upon the design you are using but gradient gives them you know a next level kind of feeling look at this design now if you put solid colors into this design this design will fail it will not look good i'm not saying that it will look bad but with the gradients it look much better In the meantime you can you know subscribe to our channel if you have liked this design till now and you can also join the membership that way you will support us and your support really matters also you can share this video within your circle so support you can support our channel So you can polish the gradient as much as you can to make sure that it looks really nice. Also you can play with the patterns here. Make sure the patterns are, you know, very corporate kind of look. I mean it should be more of straight lines or grids. I would not recommend using some wave kind of pattern here or some curved looking pattern make sure it's it's you know kind of straight lines and with squares or rectangles or parallelograms those kind of patterns I'm still not satisfied with the colors and I'm still you know polishing the gradient here I have used three points or three stops gradient. Generally, I use two stops gradient, but you can add more realistic effect to it by adding more stops in the gradient bar. It doesn't matter how many stops you know you use, in the end it should look good. That's the purpose. Now it is looking it is looking much better and so the main part of this presentation slide more than design is the animation design is good design is nice but it's the animation that gives it you know a kind of a winning look so we will learn how to add animation to it in this video. Now there are two things left in this design. We have created the design but we want to make it look realistic. So we will add a nice shadow to it. For that you have to insert a circle. And you have to draw it like this. Remove its outline, fill gradient and make sure the gradient type is not linear but path. Once you have selected the gradient type as path, now you need to adjust the transparency levels and you can see this kind of shadow effect. 
now we will add a nice animation on all these shapes all these parallelograms but before that let's add some text here so you can write some text I'm just writing some random word here with a dummy description but you can add anything you want you can increase the size of this design and you know write some small bullet points you can also add some nice fact or a stat like number achieved or some targets that you have achieved some you know website traffic kpis so anything you want to add here it's just a placeholder you can design it in a large size as well so i'm writing a very important text here that you can follow and act accordingly so here i have written that please subscribe to our channel and support our work you can also download this template from the link provided in the video description it's free but i would recommend first you learn then download it that way you will learn something new even if it is you know like 10% or 20% of what i have to you know what i have explained here so the design has come out really nice and you can see the text is quite visible here and the complete focus is now on the text as you can see and design is very much complementing it so that's the beauty of any design doing some last minute changes i always keep on doing it because i always feel that it is not perfect i'm still you know experimenting i just love these small aesthetic changes i just keep on doing it until it gets you know a perfect look you can also do that if you get time and it comes with experience the more you try the better you will get in you know alignment and polishing the shapes and the designs and it will look much better now comes the animation part and it is very easy you need to select all the shapes then go to custom path and drag your mouse downwards like this actually you, you are designing the a custom path for it and it will look like this now select all these animations start with previous go to effects option auto reverse timing repeat until the end of the slide and increase the delay as well until the end of the slide and increase the delay on each of this animation now select all except the first one increase the delay by 0.25 unselect the second and then keep on you know increasing the delay so now you can see it's a very simple animation you have selected all the shapes and then you have selected custom path and created a custom animation then you have increased the delay of 0.25 on all these and it's ready so now we have come towards the end of this video and i hope you like this design this design is very simple and it's easy to create it looks complex but it's very easy as, you, as you've seen so please hit like please subscribe please join 
share this video and you can support our channel also do not forget to you know download this template from the g drive link provided in the video description so we'll see you in the next video till then bye bye good night have peace